Hey yo, this is Dash. Yeah. yeah. All right, so this is one of those times where I'm doing a little experiment and I figured I'm just gonna turn the camera on and we're gonna see what happens. So, this is another one of my experiments. Now, you guys saw me use these rosemary fries. Take that a little closer to the camera, please. Rosemary fries, when I fried fish, on my wife's grill and they didn't turn out so good because the oil wasn't hot enough. Yeah. All right, so I know you guys have been asking me to show you guys a little walkthrough or a little review of cooking on my wife's new grill. Unfortunately, she likes her grill enough that she cooks on it by herself, so I don't have to. Now this, this is a much bigger skillet than you're probably used to seeing. This is a 15 inch skillet. I'm hoping that this burner down here will actually get it plenty hot. Now this is a uh, cot and we're getting there. I would like it to be a little warmer. Now one of the other things you can do to make your oil last longer is to put some potatoes or cook some potatoes in there. So, what we're gonna do today is these are rosemary fries. So we're gonna get these opened up. And man, I wish you guys could smell these. So what we're gonna do is to avoid making a grease fire or anything like that, I'm gonna reach in and get a couple at a time. Now, one of the other things you can do to make your oil last longer is to put some potatoes or cook some potatoes in there. So, what we're gonna do today is these are rosemary fries. So we're gonna get these opened up. And man, I wish you guys could smell these. So what we're gonna do is to avoid making a grease fire or anything like that. I'm gonna reach in and get a couple at a time. It's not as hot as I would like it to be. If I could, the, uh, well, I know now that this burner isn't, uh, it doesn't have the same oomph that the burner did on the last grill. Now, please quickly tell them what you think of these fries. They're good. Great. I mean, I like them. It could definitely taste rosemary, but. There's something else. I remember. He doesn't know is what it, it is. Is this salt on them? I don't know. That's just regular pink Himalayan sea salt. Did you boil them? No, they're not boiled. They're fried, and it, it's a it's a grease. I, but what is it? It's something you, different. Did you use the beef towel? Oh, oh. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> These are smoked beef fat <laughs> fries. <laughs> wow. I mean, I really wish good. I had. They are good. Can you see if there's any regular fries in there and not this rosemary? Just oh. so I can try in the freezer. Like crinkle cut. I think, I think there's crinkle cut in the other freezer. Ooh, that's pepper. But I don't know about you guys, but I have a pretty 
decent amount of beef fat left over a lot of times or more often than not when I am cooking brisket and I always want to do something with it and I haven't quite figured out what exactly I'll do with it so today we're actually a few weeks ago I put some aside uh oh where are these fries here go the fries all right look I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do this because I already I feel like I've already tainted the oil with the rosemary paste. So just put that in there for me, please. And I'll cook the rest of these rosemary fries. But they're pretty good. Uh, much better than last time, right? Mm-hmm. Now don't you say that they're they're like smoked beef tallow fries. I think you start to kind of taste the smoked flavor. You can taste the smoked flavor. The whole thing is you don't it's faint. It's faint, but it's there. It is there. Like there's something different, and you don't, you can't quite put your finger on it. Mm -hmm. oh, shoot. I'm not going to suck the rest of these in here. All right. Done and done. Now, when I when I smoked. There was, there were two briskets I cooked, and uh, after trimming the briskets before I smoked them, I cut the fat and I put it into a half pan, and I put that half pan on the top of the smoker, on the top of Vicky the Vertical Smoker, and if you look in that charcoal video, or the video when I was talking about loading the uh, smoker with charcoal, you can see the pan that's sitting in the smoker. The key to making sure that you get a decent smoke ring when using charcoal is to use wood. And that's where it's, it sat in there all day while I was cooking. I didn't even do much with it. And I ended up with about two, two and a half cups of beef fat. And it was like Why are you worried about what I'm doing? Ah, ah. Hey, it's cooking time, no question. It was like pure rendered beef fat, and I've been trying to think of something to do with it, and I just kind of was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna fry, you know, I, we've all heard of duck fat fries. Mm. Yeah. All right. Go. So, I don't know. What do you guys do, if anything, with your beef fat? Like any of your trimmings, be it your beef or your pork, do you guys render it down to do anything with it? I'd be really interested to know what you guys do with it, or do you just, like me, primarily just throw it away? So I've been looking to figure out something to do with it. So if you could, Comment below with what you do with your rendered beef fat. I'd greatly appreciate it. So, I guess that's the end of the video. I guess so. All right. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. I'd uh, greatly appreciate it if you uh, leave me a like down below. If you like what you saw, if you learned something, please leave me a thumbs up. I'd, uh, again, greatly appreciate it. Thank you, as always, for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. I think I've said that already. I think so. Anyway. Thanks as always for watching. I'll see you guys next time. If I were to have like that smoked beef fat, I think I would like if I were cooking a steak in like a pan, uh -huh. I would like oil the pan with it. You could probably, you know, as opposed to, I mean, it could, or use it in an herb butter bean. Ah, uh, that might be too much because a lot of times, more often than not, people who are wanting or using an herb butter might not necessarily want, you know. Beef fat in it.
um, that's just like the drizzle, more or less. Um, but you'd be sauteing it in the pan. But the the that's the thing. The this doesn't have like that same flavor that herb butter would. Um, the herb butter would definitely give you that salty, buttery, herby flavor where this is just going to give you like a slight hint of more beef. And there's a slight hint of smoke in it too. Are you going to save something for your brother and sister? Yes, unless you're walking away. Alright.